question that often often comes back is how can we get a lair in this universe online stick around hello heroes and villains welcome to multiverse so today we will play the mission home is where your base is it is pretty much where you get your first lair in this universe online so let us complete the mission you get this mission as you reach level 9 it would seem uh, often people will tell me that they don't have the mission for some reason uh, once you reach level 9 you should have the mission in your journal so let us complete it right now so once you complete the mission then you have to go here you can consume the two layers that you have so you get the deco layer and the gothic layer you have a theme for your base you need to get a deed these are used to actually grant base ownership and to select a location for the entrance so now if we go back to the journal, then we can collect the deed here. So let us do that. And here you can see the little hint about the bases. But before we collect the deed, uh, there's something else we're going to do. If you purchased anything that has to do with the layer system, you can claim it now. Uh, early on, you could not, you cannot claim those, uh, those items. But once you do gain access to your layer, then you can get access to those items. So let us collect them all. So I've pretty much purchased all the layers in the marketplace. Uh, what I would suggest is when you when there is a sale, like right now we do have a pretty good sale in the marketplace. So that would be the time to purchase additional layers if you want to. Or additional uh, layer styles, I should say. And also there's also the amenities that you can purchase from, from the marketplace. You can get those amenities also in the game if you just uh, gather collections. I have a video, I have actually a whole playlist about the layers and the diverse amenities. So if you need more information about that, I'll put the link to that uh, playlist in the description down below. So now that we've collected uh, all our layers that we've purchased and all our amenities, let us uh, use the deed. So let's click on the deed. So from here, we can select the layer we want to use with this character. And it would be tempting to go with one of the bigger layer like Atlantean. Or even a much bigger uh, manor lair. But uh, let's go for a lair we don't use all that often. Uh, let's go for the eastern lair in this case. So once you select your lair, then you select the city, metropolis, or Gotham. And then you can select a location within that map. There's a few lairs where you will have to purchase to spend a bit of cash and some source marks. So obviously early on, like at this point we only have 8 source marks. Uh, that would not be an option anyway. Now uh, let's go over here. So do... Oh. We don't have the cash. Now let's go for here. So it's going to cost us $750 cash. So let's do that right now. Alright. Head to your base now and we'll take a little tour. So let's go to our base. And if you're wondering about the little gift, basically it's because of the, the manor lair. If you do purchase the manor lair, you also get the manor decor pack. So let us claim that right now. mode, alter some of the colors of your base, and for other utility purposes. So let's go back to our journal. So now we're going to collect our first three base items. So let's do that. So the game gives you three base items to be able to try out the decoration option. Although if you've been playing now the game for a bit, the base items to your base inventory, use the control panel to enter decorator mode. Although if you've been playing the game for a bit, it could be possible that you already have some uh, base items. While in decorator mode, you can place your items at the appropriate markers. While most base items are cosmetic, there are amenities you can acquire that have very specific functions like bank, mail, and broker access. However, amenities can only be placed at specific markers. Once you've filled up enough markers, you will unlock free placement mode and be able to place base items almost anywhere. So, that about wraps it up. I'm sure you'll uncover even more interesting things about your base. Good luck. And don't forget to try placing those items. 
Oracle app. So if you, take, if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see markers on lock through placement mode, zero out of 20. Basically, once you place 20 base items, you will unlock free placement mode. Until you do unlock free placement mode, you have to put items within those circles. If you try to put it outside of the circle at this point, it won't, it's not going to work. But if you go within the circles, then here we can place the classic dinner clock. There's also a lamp that you get. And there is a table that you get. So once you've placed those three items, uh, let's get out of here. We'll, we'll come back uh, just in just a minute. Now we can go back to our journal and we can complete the mission. So we've put all our amenities. Uh, normally this is where we would uh, be able to place our first armory. Apparently uh, it's been changed, so we don't get the armory just yet. Uh, this is pretty much a standard lair. Most lair are pretty much like this one. But there's some smaller lair like the dive. So if we go to the marketplace, there's a base item tab. So you can see the layers that you can purchase. Oh, you can purchase even your friend the crypto. You can purchase additional deeds. Here again, all the layers you can purchase. You can purchase some armories. And here you can purchase the various amenities. And there's various uh, packs also where you get uh, a whole bunch of base items. There's this little dispenser over here. At this point, there's nothing we can really do about it except get the dive hideout. So let's consume the hideout. And here we have the mainframe where you need to go to be able to get the sidekick, the backup, the orbital strike, the supply drop, and the tactical mods. Also, there's your generator cells that you're gonna have to recharge uh, every 30 days, I think. And of course, you can give permission to people to enter your lair and uh, to do various things, either to move, item, to move items or to use amenities. You can decide to invite players uh, individually or you can decide to invite the whole league. And here we have the generator. So this is where you can come to set your various armory, armory build. it will make a bit more sense when, once we do get armories with this character. And again, you can replace the cells from here. And here also you can put the various mods. Uh, the general mods are for the teleporter. Uh, these are mods that you will get in the game that will allow you to be able to teleport to various locations. There's some elf or end power mods. So you're going to have to choose either elf or power. For the support mods, you'll have to choose either dominance, restoration, or vitalization. And for the offense mod, you'll have to use between precision and might. And here we have the affinity mods that are linked to the, uh, the elite gear. So if you have two pieces of elite gear, you will gain access to the first affinity bonus, four pieces of elite gear, six pieces of elite gear and if you have eight pieces of elite gear then you will have access to all the affinity bonuses and you can get the uh, the mods for the affinity bo bonuses from the r d vendor so if you scroll down you'll see the various affinity bonuses that you can purchase and here you can purchase them from uh, 10 source marks all the way to 25 source marks so the mods for the first affinity bonus are 10 uh, source marks then 15 20 and 25 so the mailbox obviously is where you get your mail. So here we have the spark target that you can use to test out your powers. And here you have the respect station that allows you to respect your skill points and reassign them. The bank is a personal stash where you can put a whole bunch of your items. Also the bank is in the, there's the bank and there's the shared bank. If you want to be able to trade items between your characters, you are going to use the shared bank to do so. Not every item can be put into the shared bank. There are some items that you just simply cannot share. But if there's items that you can share, you can put them in your shared bank and then pick them up with another one of your character. There's a crafting station that will allow you to do some crafting. So you can either assemble some items, but also you can salvage uh, some gear. You cannot salvage low level gear, but uh, once you reach level 30, you should be able to salvage uh, most of the gear you get in the game. Here we have the sorter vendor where we can purchase uh, some colas, we can repair, and we can sell some items. And here we have the broker. I'll probably make a video specifically about the broker soon. But basically this is where you can go to sell or buy various items. So if you have some items you don't need, I sell them on a broker. Don't sell them to the vendors. If you can, if you can sell it to the broker, sell it to the broker. You, you will make a lot more cash from the broker than pretty much from any vendors. For the amenities, you have no choice. You have to put the amenities within the purple circles. And I guess one more thing we could mention is that uh, you can have up to 16 armories total. 
Uh, you could decide to put all your 16 armories in one layer, or you could decide to spread your 16 armories with, uh, within uh, all your layers, but you have a maximum of 16 armories that you can get. So once we do get access to our first armory, I'll make a video about it, and uh, we will probably revisit the lair at that point. 